guys welcome back to my youtube channel vibe with precious how are you guys doing today hope you guys are feeling very much great so guys we are back with another reaction i came across this video on youtube and it says this is the uh, this is allah's last advice guys let's listen to allah's last advice <laughs> you would wonder what would be the final command of Allah Rabbul Izzah to humankind? Understand your prophet was the last of the prophets, after him would be no more. So this message that would be revealed to the prophet as in the last and the finale of the Quran would be a message till Qiyamah come. The final utterance of Allah Rabbul Izzah through the Quran. What would it be? And it was revealed nine days before the death of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And you listen to it. قَالَ سُبْحَانَهُ وَاتَّقُوا يَوْمًا تُرْجَعُونَ فِيهِ إِلَى اللَّهِ And be mindful of the day where you will return to your Lord. What a message. And be aware of the day where you will return to your Lord. وَاتَّقُوا يَوْمًا تُرْجَعُونَ فِيهِ إِلَى اللَّهِ And be aware of the day where you will return to your Lord. And you will be recompensed for whatever your hands have earned. If it is good, it will be good. And if it is evil, it will be evil. And no man will be wronged. It is a, a message that the pious understood. Fudayl ibn Iyad saw a man so he asked him he goes how old are you so the man said i am 60 years old so fudail said so for 60 years you have been journeying to meet your lord waiting to reach your destination to the day of the meeting of your lord and realization gripped the elderly man you know, when you look back, 60 years have passed and a little bit remains. What haven't I committed of wrong? Zainul Abidin in his poem, he says, Safri ba'idun wa zadi lan yuballighani wa quwwati da'ufat wal mawtu yatlubuni وَلِي بَقَايَا ذُنُوبٍ لَسْتُ أَعْلَمُهَا أَلَّهُ يَعْلَمُهَا فِي السِّرِّ وَالْعَلَنِي What a long journey to my Lord. And my destiny, my journey is long and my preparation so little. And weakness has gripped me and death is chasing me and the sins have piled up. So with this sentiment, the man said, Inna lillah wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. What a calamity. Sixty years has gone. So Fudayl said, Do you know what it means? This inna lillah wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. That I belong to Allah and to Him I will return. The man said, Yes. It means I belong to Allah and to Him I will return. So Fudayl said, Whoever realizes that he belongs to Allah and is in the ownership of Allah and the property of Allah and as such he will return to the owner, he must also realize that there is accountability and the owner will ask, what did you do? So he said, what have you prepared? What have you prepared for the return to your Lord? So the man started to cry. And he said, Wallah, it is difficult. It is difficult. He is another one. The man came to Ahmad ibn Hanbal with this poem. He says, Ida ma qala li rabbi amastahiyayta ta'asini wa tukhfi dhamba an khalqi wa bil isyani ta'atini fa kayfa ujibu ya wayhi wa man dha sawfa yahmini if my Lord were to ask me, إِذَا مَا قَالَ لِي رَبِّي أَمَسْتَحْيَيْتَ تَعْسِينِي Weren't you shy when you used to do sins against me? Didn't you used to feel embarrassed? وَتُخْفِ الذَّنْبَ عَنْ خَلْقِي وَبِالْعِسْيَانِ تَأْتِينِي You hid your sins from the people and with sins you came to face me. You were shy of every other eye but my eye. So now, this man, 
realizes what have I prepared for the meeting of my Lord. So he said, Fudail, it is difficult. So Fudail said, no, it is easy. Live the rest of your life in the obedience of Allah. He will forgive you your past and change your deeds, your wrong into hasanat. May Allah Rabbul Izza in this blessed month turn our deeds, in the wrongs into hasanat and bless our hasanat multiple times. And give us the preparation, although the sins are many, that when we face him on that day, we don't disgrace ourselves. Know our Prophet. فَقُلْتُ مَا قُلْتِ إِنْتَكُ حَسَنَةً فَمِنَ اللَّهُ وَإِنْتَكُ سَيِّئَةً it is not possible that revelation is about to end and there is a verse revealed near the end and it does not hold importance. That's not possible. It has to be extremely important. For example, when the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu during his last few days on this earth, when he was lying down one day explaining the sins and the bad things and reminding us the do's and the don'ts. He got up and he warned us about our treatment of women. Important. He got up, he sat up and he reminded us about our treatment of women. Wallahi, my brothers and sisters, this verse that I just read before you is way more important than anything else. We have heard, we are hearing, or we shall hear. <laughs> Beware of the day in which you shall be returning to Allah. Watch out, be careful, be conscious of the day wherein which you shall be going back to Allah. ar means to go back to, which means we came from Him. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. We belong to Allah totally. And we shall all return to Allah, which means we were with Allah. We are where Allah wants us and we are going to go back. Back is the word. Back is the word to Allah. So prepare for that day more than any other preparation. In this world, it's easy for us to know what I need in order to have a plate of food in front of me in a few minutes time for lunch. I need to know I must work, I must try hard, I must earn, I must do something, I must get money enough to be able to have this small belly which capacity of which is perhaps one kilo to two, maybe in Nigeria it might be a little bit more or a little bit less, subhanallah. It's the same throughout the globe. Depending, it has an elasticity to it. When you get your stomach used to four kilos, it will not be full except with four or more. When you get it used to one kilo, it will be full with one. You won't be able to put one and a half. That is man. We know what is required for us to survive and to breathe, etc. Because we love life, dear life. May Allah grant us Jannatul Firdaus. I want to be a person with wealth. I want to be a person with the latest. I want to follow the trends. I want to have the latest scents, the latest vehicles, the latest homes, the latest of everything. That is easy to understand because man is living. He wants to show off. But wallahi, there are people who have everything in this world and they have not yet prepared for the day they are going to return to Allah. Be conscious of the day in which you are going to return to Allah. That is more important than anything else. While you are on earth, you may enjoy within the commands of Allah. You may do, eat and drink and live and have some form of luxury to a degree that Allah has allowed. But do not lose focus that you are going to go back to Allah. That's what Allah says. Every Jumu'ah, many of the Fridays, the Imam will mention either this verse or a similar verse in meaning. Be careful of Allah. Be conscious of Allah. Be careful of your relationship with Allah. Watch out because you have no option but to return to Allah. Wow, guys. This is truly the last advice because 
if you do not plan yourself, if you do not set your mind, they're going to return to him. If you don't set your mind that this world is just vanity, you're going to regret it, honestly speaking. And it's not just all to be dedicated to our religion, do the right thing, avoid problems, avoid sin, try as much as to pray and always ask forgiveness. And I pray for heaven at last for all of us. So guys, come to us today's reaction. Don't forget to like, comment, comment, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Signing out. Bye.